Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. This is going to be my Bible message, sermon, study for the day. This is also going to be my vlog. It's not going to be my official second vlog. It's still the message of the day, but it's kind of a vloggy style because there's something I'm going to ramble about. So if you're not a fan of my rambling, this probably is not the video for you. If you're not a fan of my preaching, this might actually be a video a little bit more up your alley because I'm just going to talk about what's happened over the last uh, over the last few days. And yeah, there we go. It looked like there was a thumb in my hair there. It kind of still does. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah, just some of the things that have been going on, some of the things that are happening at the very moment. And so here we go. So essentially, you guys know for a while that I've been looking for a video editor, don't have a video editor, and finally decided on a video editor. And that video editor is Magic's Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 13. That's the one I decided on. It just seemed to be the best out of all the things that were out there. Um, good for the price point, good for a beginning YouTuber, just seemed to be spot on and solid. So, I'm sorry, that thing in my hair that is bugging me. I, it looks like there's, maybe it's just the camera. No, wait, it's gone. There was, I don't know what that was. There was something there, a piece of fuzz or what, maybe some dandruff. Who knows? Anyway, so I got that. Finally bought it. I've owned it. Hmm. I don't think it's been. It's definitely not been more than a month. I don't think it's been really more than two weeks. But I've owned it for a while, and it just would not work. It just wasn't wasn't uh, doing anything. Pro tip: If you're going to sample a trial of a program and then decide to buy it, don't delete the trial prior to installing the bought version. Things will mess up. And I'm suspecting that's part of the reason why it wouldn't load and it wouldn't work for so long. So I'm going back and forth with Magix for a while. Apparently I'm talking to someone in Germany because I'm pretty and I'm pretty sure that Magix does operate overseas. Almost positive it's somewhere in Europe. I'm gonna guess Germany because I'm pretty sure it was German I saw in the email correspondence that I had. And apparently I wasn't communicating my point very well, or the person didn't understand English very well. I thought it was very clear with, here's, you know, it's not working, here's what's happening. Three or four emails in, he was like, I'm really not understanding you. Could you start over from the very beginning and give me very specific details on what's going on? I say he, because I'm not, who knows what the gender is, so not knowing, I'm just using he. So I'm like, okay. Let me just start over from, and by, and also in the middle of all this, before I move on, at the end of last week, because today, now it's Tuesday, so, um, it was like Thursday-ish last week, somewhere around there, all of a sudden, all online functionality of Mortal Kombat X stopped working. There were no living towers, there was no PvP, there were no faction wars. Nothing. Nothing would work. Um, I had internet, obviously I wouldn't be uploading videos to YouTube. My Steam account was working okay. It, it went online for other games, just not Mortal Kombat. So I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I, was, I, I said in my vlog that I was thinking about possibly streaming. Maybe just one night a week, Mortal Kombat X. Because right now, at this point in my life, I want to... The things that I love, like YouTube, and I've really fallen in love with Mortal Kombat X, and that just the fighting game genre in, in general has reminded me of that. And I want to pursue those dreams, I want to do my very best in them, and I, I mean I really want to do my best, like, I don't want to pursue it just halfway and do whatever I'm doing halfway. Honestly, even though I'm a very, I'm a completionist type person, and I like to finish what I start, I've taken the habit for a long time now of only taking on things that I knew would be easy, that I knew wouldn't be very troublesome, or even if they took a long time, the long process would be kind of dull, it would be very simple, 
And thus, I could, you know, I could be a completionist and a perfectionist, but it'd be things that I could definitely tackle. No problem, no sweat, not a problem. Whereas YouTube, and even fighting games like taking a fighting game like to a competitive level, and PV, and I, and I am thinking like local competition stuff like that. PVP is not a joke. There are definitely some excellent players online. But also taking it to a competitive level like going to a local tournament, something like that, just looking that up and just seeing how far can I push, how far can I go in areas where I'm not guaranteed success. I don't know exactly what's going on. So here I am and all of a sudden Mortal Kombat's PvP has disappeared, my video editing is gone because yeah there's a free editor out there but I really don't want to go back to it. I could if I absolutely had to, but I really don't want to. And I and all of this is coming to a biblical point uh, very soon. So I'm just kind of like, okay, I've just kind of lost these two things. Wh what do I do? And so I just for for several days I was just making YouTube, um, obviously YouTube videos, Mortal Kombat um, classic tower videos because I was like, okay, I can't do anything PvP wise, and I can't edit any of my old Dark Souls videos, so I guess I'll just make new videos each day, and so yeah, that's what I'll do, and so that's because I can't edit any of my old videos, um, most of them being Dark Souls, or anything else though, I can't fall back to the old videos and finish up that series and get that done, so keep releasing the new stuff, and then as, um, I'm, I actually prayed about this, like, Lord, what, what do I do? How should I handle this situation? This, this kind of sucks. And he said, don't worry about it. Son, don't worry about it. And so at first I was like, okay, cool, I won't worry about it. I'll just kind of let things happen as they'll happen, and, you know, they should work out by themselves. That's what I understood it to mean. And a day later, nothing changed. I was under the impression things would change quicker than that, and that things would be better quicker than that, and that things would be okay quicker than that. It, like, everything's going to be okay, cool. 24 hours passes, things aren't okay. I go back to God, and I'm like, God, what are you doing? Things aren't okay. Things aren't working. What's going on? And what the Lord said to me the second time was, Son, you, you need to do your part. You can't just sit around doing nothing. You do need to do what you can do, but don't worry about it. I've got it. It'll work out. And I was a little bit irritated, a little bit upset. I wouldn't say angry, but a little bit irritated and upset with the Lord. Like, why didn't you fulfill your word? Or maybe I didn't hear correctly. Maybe I didn't hear the word of the Lord correctly. So... I proceeded to, e I kept going with the emails with, um, with magics, and I was doing the email with magics, and I also started, I started a correspondence with, um, with WB Games, with Warner Brothers Games, to see what was going on with Mortal Kombat. I opened up a ticket there, and did that thing, opened up a ticket with magics, or I kept, I'm sorry, I kept going with my, the ticket I already had with magics. And as I so I typed out this email, I was like, okay, let's just do this from the very beginning. And so I started from the very beginning, like, okay, here's what I've done, uh, and just going all the way up to the present day. And I opened up the program, and I even typed out like the entire thing that the window was that the window was saying, like what was in the text box dialog of the window. And as I went along the steps, it seemed to be doing a little bit differently than it did before. It seemed to be going a little bit further than it did before seemed to be going in a direction it hadn't gone before so I just typed out all the new stuff it was doing like okay this is weird but I'll just keep going and as I kept progressing along it got to the point where the product was activated then it asked me to register the product I registered it still typing out this email to Magix and the product was activated registered and it loaded up booted up and worked on my computer I don't know why. I won't go so far as to say it was a miracle. Um, it would take a little bit more than that to convince me a miracle happened, but it worked. It wasn't working. The Magix guys didn't 
they did tell me one thing to do and I did that, but that didn't fix the problem, that didn't make it happen. And then, just as I'm typing up an email trying to detail what was going wrong, boom, it worked. So, wow, this works, okay. And then, um, I forget if it was the same day or the next day, I know I, well no, it was that day I typed out the thing, to, I, I actually called WB up and I was like, hey, nothing online is working. They're like, okay, that's that's a pretty big problem. Um, let's put in a support ticket. So I was like, my first thought was doggone, I'm going to have to do the whole emailing ticket thing again. And, but I was like, okay, we're going to, this, and it, actually, things weren't resolved at that point. I guess I contacted WB before. I did my final email to Magix because I know things were not working. And again, this is going to be a rambling video. If this is going a little bit too long for you, feel free to click away and move on to something interesting. This is me unloading everything that's been going on for me the past several days, um, about half a weekish, three or four days now, and just letting y'all. And this is something the Lord has done in me. Like I said, the word that He gave me earlier: don't give up. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And me like, okay, God, where's the being? I don't feel being. I don't feel very taken care of at the moment. What's going on? So yeah, now I'm gonna keep rambling for a little bit longer. So just to give you a heads up there. So I hadn't contacted Magix for the final time. I contacted WB. They put in a support ticket. So I'm like, oh great, two support tickets going at once. How long is this gonna take? So then I go to the magic thing, and all of a sudden I've got my video editor. And it's working, and it's there. And I'm like, wow, awesome. And then the next day, I hadn't heard back anything from the support ticket from WB, so I'm like, okay, should they have responded within 24 hours? This isn't like, this isn't magic, this isn't a computer program. This is a game. This should be, I should have probably been contacted within one or two, three hours at the most of this. I could be wrong. Maybe it takes longer than that, but 24 hours later, I hadn't been contacted. So I called him up and I said, hey, that 24 hours was actually Monday, yesterday. So I was like, okay, let's, let's see what's going on here. So I said, hey, it's been 24 hours. What's going on? And they said, they said, well, what we can tell you for sure is that it's not just you. There have actually been several problems on the PC and the Xbox One where it just there's nothing online happening for Mortal Kombat X. And they said, we're very sorry for this, um, and it's really unfortunate that it happened over the weekend because our technicians weren't here. But now that the technicians are here, and this is obviously a very big problem, they're going to hop on it very quickly. I don't foresee this problem happening much longer, I'll send you an email saying, you know, hey, we got your problem. We've, we, you know, we know this problem exists. It's not just you. It's not your machine or your copy on Steam. It is a WB server problem, and we're getting on it. So later on Monday evening, um, several hours later, I just, I was like, hey, let's give Mortal Kombat X a try and see what happens. And then I got online. Everything was fine. Factions, living towers, PvP, everything was fine. And so I dropped down on my knees and I said, God, thank you. Cause, yeah, I did the phone calls. So I did my part, but at the end of the day, just like in the original message, I didn't have to do a thing. Not a thing. Past that one little step on the computer that I did... Bef I'm pretty sure that was before this whole prayer process. I did that one step after contacting them, and it still didn't work. I was like, ah, what do I do? And God was like, don't worry, it'll be fine, and everything fell in place. The prayer might have been specifically just for Mortal Kombat, but it seems to apply to my video editor as well, so I figured I would include it here. So everything worked out just fine. According to the word of the Lord, I did my part. And I didn't have to worry about anything from the beginning. It just it took a little bit longer than I thought it would take. So when you get a word telling you to do something or telling you not to worry that things are going to work out, and I was very confident I heard correctly from the Lord. I didn't think that it was me making it up. I was pretty confident that I heard correctly. As it turns out, I had heard correctly. I was right. 
It just didn't happen the way I thought it would. It just didn't happen within the time frame I thought it would happen. And after so many years being with the Lord, I, I'm definitely more on point than I used to be. I hear better than I used to. I hear more often than I used to. I hear more specifically than I used to. But apparently I still have a ways to go. Apparently there's a little bit more trust that needs to be in my heart, a little bit more patience and a little bit more faith that needs to be in my heart as well. So lesson learned here. As it turns out, I tried using my editing software last night. It's a bit different from the the trial version that I got. I think I got the trial version of just baseline Movie Studio. So Movie Studio Platinum has a lot more stuff. And once again, I don't know what I'm doing. And I did freak out on that like, oh my gosh, it's finally working. And now I can't use it. What the heck? This is actually my second time shooting this video because I messed up the first time and I tried to edit it. It was a simple edit, very incredibly simple. Just one thing needed to be deleted and I couldn't do it. And I had to reshoot this entire video. And guys, I'm not going to count this as a 30 minute message even though I've been going on for a very, very, very long time. And it's a lot longer than the original one. And I can't edit it can't take out anything, can't add to it. I don't think you guys would want me to add to it. You got If anyone's still hanging in there to this point, really, thank you very much. This has just been me rambling, telling you what's been going on with me and what's been going on with my YouTube stuff and what the, kind of the things I want to do with the future and some of the obstacles I've been facing. But yeah, here I stand. Those two things worked out. So I freaked out about not knowing what to do with the editing software. Ended up staying up a little bit longer than I thought I would. Sometimes I stay up all night. Sometimes I go to bed a little bit earlier. Ended up staying up all night kind of against my will because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But I'm going to calm down. I'm going to relax. And I'm going to realize that just as those first two things were okay, I'll learn what I'm doing on editing. Heck, I've been on YouTube this long and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> what a surprise, I still don't know what the heck I'm doing. So that's okay. Even though I don't totally feel that, it really is okay. I haven't prayed about it, but it will work out. And if I need to, I will pray about it. If I don't know what I'm doing and I can't learn, I'll pray about it. And an answer will present itself. I mean, heck, people video edit for a living. It shouldn't be beyond my technical capabilities to do. I just don't know what I'm doing right now. And even though it's a little bit scary and I need to make another video, before I go to bed, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to give up. It'll probably be Mortal Kombat X Story Mode, so please check that out if you feel like it. And so that's the end of this video. Summarizing all of that up, don't worry. God's got your back. Even even if it's not the way you think, it'll happen. Even if it's not the timing you think it should happen, God's got you right in the palm of his hand. So, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.